When you're autistic, like 15-year-old Hunter Cole, it's common to become fixated on just one thing. All right. But not even Hunter's mom, Mary Lowe, expected his latest obsession to go so far. I thought it would be a, a few months, you know, and then he'll want to move on. <laughs> but he didn't. Every day, all Hunter thinks about well, since my me, is Elvis. Up until a couple years ago, Hunter had never even heard of Elvis. But then, an Elvis tribute artist performed here in Cleveland, and he was hooked. And I went up to my mom and I said, hey, I want to do that. He spent virtually every minute since studying Elvis's songs, his moves, his style. Hunter's only been doing this a year, but has already performed almost 70 times and just recently placed third at the National Elvis Tribute Artist Competition at Graceland. Hunter Cole. What's most remarkable, though, is that for years, Hunter was nonverbal. In fact, therapists weren't sure he'd ever talk. Because of that, he was bullied, you ain't more hound dog. which really did damage to his self-esteem. But Mary says Elvis has brought out a whole new kid. He always felt inadequate and less than, and now he's just out there, <laughs> you know, in front of the public's eye, and I'm just thinking, I can't believe this is the same kid, you know? I want somebody to know just because they have autism that they could do whatever, anything they want to do. Take it from the king. You ain't no friend of mine. And I'm uh... In Cleaver, I'm Sean Giggy. Boy, what a show, huh? If you would like to see Hunter perform, we've got a list of his upcoming performances on our website at WFA.com. And I didn't realize this, but there are more than 50,000 Elvis impersonators. Uh, I think even maybe more than 70,000 across the country. So the impact that this guy has had decades after his passing is incredible. Well, and just to, to see this performance, by the way, to have only been impersonating for a year to be as good as this kid is. It's good. Keep it going. Natural talent. Yeah.